Hello, I'm back for the second part. Um, I'm going to focus here on the four stages of mitosis that you would have read. So uh, just so that you know, we all know that the end result of mitosis is the separation of that replicated DNA uh, into two complete identical sets of chromosomes or DNA. Okay, each new cell that's produced needs to have that exact same copy of um, DNA. So this involves four phases. This, these four phases always go in the same order. Okay, we call it PMAT for short, P-M-A-T. Those stand for prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So I'm gonna go through each one of these processes to let you know. I'm actually also referring to your textbook pages, 18 and 19, fabulous diagrams. Please refer to those as you maybe watch this video, because as you know, I'm not a good artist. And I, there's no way I could copy this out as seen in the textbook. So um, I'm going to try my best to explain it, uh, starting with the first phase, which is prophase. So in prophase, we have, remember from what I talked about before, we have that replicated the double helix, okay? The double-stranded chromosomes, you can actually see them underneath a microscope. If a cell is not ready to divide yet and going through mitosis, you can't see these under a microscope. As soon as it's ready for mitosis, they become visible, okay? So what happens is we have inside the nucleus, we have the nucleolus, which is surrounded by a nuclear membrane. The whole nucleus has got a membrane. That needs to disintegrate and disappear before this happens because as you can see, when we get to the end result, that nucleus has to be able to be stretched into two different ones. So that nuclear membrane has got to break down and then it disappears. So that all happens in prophase. Okay, the other main thing that happens in prophase, and I'm going to draw a cell, okay, is we have these uh, things called centrioles. Pretend this is like the globe, and we've got the north pole, and we've got the south pole. These are called centrioles. Okay, so there's one at each end of the cell. So what happens from these centrioles? They grow these like little, almost like finger-like projections that start to grow from it, kind of like this, all right? As you can see in the diagram for prophase, the uh, chromosomes are all scattered, okay? There's a whole bunch of double helixes there, but they're all scattered around, okay? So they're all scattered throughout here, okay? So these little fibers start to come out from the centrioles, and that's what basically happens. What happens is these centrioles now, as they grow out like little finger-like extensions, they attach to, remember what I called the centromere? It attaches to the centromere, which is the middle part of that double-stranded chromosome. So these spindle fibers will all start to attach to each one of these. And that's basically what happens in prophase. Now what happens in metaphase, once again, I'm going to draw another circle. I'm going to draw my centrioles, and I'm going to draw these finger-like projections, which are now a little bit longer, as you can see in the diagram. Okay. What happens is that these finger-like projections are stuck and attached to these centromeres. And what it does in metaphase, it's not much that happens in metaphase, but it pulls all of these scattered chromosomes into a nice line across the center of the uh, nucleus. Okay, so as you can see now in this next diagram, they're all lined up in the middle. An easy way to remember this lining up in the middle, metaphase begins with an M, lining up in the middle. Okay, so that's really all that happens in metaphase. The next one is anaphase. So now that these are all lined up in the middle, I'm going to replicate that diagram here. Now that they're all lined up in the middle, what happens in anaphase? These finger-like projections now, these spindle fibers, they start to contract. They get, they pull back toward the centrioles. So they pull and they tug these chromosomes apart. A, anaphase, A, apart. It pulls them apart, okay? And that is now seen in your diagram on page 19. So now we get one set of chromosomes going toward this central, one set of chromosomes moving toward that central, which is what you can see. So it's getting pulled apart, apart. The last phase of uh, mitosis is telophase. As you can see what's happening in telophase, it's the final phase of mitosis. Okay, what you can see now is there's one complete set of chromosomes okay, at each end. So those spindle fibers have contracted back 
Now you can see the chromosomes at each end of the cell. Okay, the spindle fibers then they disappear. Okay, they go back, they contract right back in, they disappear. And then we have a nuclear membrane that comes back. And that nuclear membrane comes back and it forms around each set of these chromosomes. So as you can see in the diagram here, you can now visibly see the nuclear membranes. And now we can see that there's two distinct separate nuclei. The cell has not divided yet. You can see it's about to divide, but now we've got two uh, complete um, nucleuses or nuclei. Okay, then the nucleolus reappears. Okay, and now what happens is those single stranded chromosomes here start to uncoil. Okay, so now that is the end of mitosis. So I'm just gonna finish this off with the last tiny bit, which if you want to refer to page two, uh, 22, what happens now is, so that's the end of mitosis. We now have something that is called cell division. This is ready to, div to, div to divide now. Cell division has a, has a scientific term called cytokinesis. So I'm going to write that down here. Cytokinesis. This is a fancy word for cell division. So what happens then? Okay, there is still one cell. It's ready to divide. This nuclear membrane here, it pinches inward. It pinches inward, and these two now separate. Okay, that is now... You've got two separate cells, okay? And what happens in these two separate cells is they each contain an identical set of DNA or instructions um, for the cell. Okay, so that is the end result of mitosis there. Hope this explanation helped a little bit. Um, and yeah, that's about it.